Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about how to buy XRP, Casper, QNT, Tau. There's so many assets that you could buy over on Mexi, even if you do live in the US. Now, full transparency with Mexi, you do have the option to KYC or not KYC. Obviously, this is fully up to you, um, but also for those out there that do KYC, you do have an opportunity to get up to $1,000 as a sign-up bonus over on MEXC. Now, again, I always say do not trust any exchange with leaving your funds on them, so always make sure that you are withdrawing your um, assets to cold storage like, for example, Ledger or even a decent wallet. Now. With that in mind, let's go through on how you can purchase XRP, Casper, whatever asset it really is. Uh, the good thing about Mexi is that they usually do list um, gems very early on. So maybe you're in a token that, uh, you know, it's not on Binance or Coinbase, etc. So when it does get listed, you get to uh, witness those big moments. Like for an example, Casper is a perfect example. But with all that in mind, um, Mexi does offer pretty much everything. Uh, there's a ton of assets that you could buy into. There's futures trading for those out there that do want to do futures trading. Full transparency, I will never promote futures trading because guess what? You do not need to trade in futures to get rich in crypto. Trust me, futures is the easiest way to lose money. But with that, let's talk about how to purchase XRP. So first off, to purchase XRP, what you want to do is go over here to wallets and go to overview. This is going to open up um, an overview, but there's going to be a deposit button. I'll actually show you guys real quick. So if you go to overview, um, let me make sure to hide all this stuff. This is like my personal Mexi account. So I don't want to show any of the information, but here you see deposit. You just want to click deposit. Then in deposit, you'll see um, your USDT here. You can click USDT or any asset of your cho uh, choosing. So again, I'm going to be blocking this because I do have personal assets that are showing up, but you could search USDT um, in this tab and you could find USDT. You could also find USDC, all of those, if the pair does allow it, which I will go through that as well. But here you want to choose a network of your choosing. Um, I'm going to utilize TRC20 for an example, and I'm going to transfer funds over to this wallet. I'm only going to do like $7 or anything like that, uh, just to give you guys a quick example. Um, but now my funds should be there. Uh, just to give you guys a quick insight, ahead of time I already transferred funds over. It's about like $8 worth. It's nothing crazy. But um, you could get... USDT, however you want. I am not KYC personally on MEXC, but if you guys go over here to buy crypto, you could see that if you do KYC, you could buy with a debit or credit card. You could also buy using a global bank transfer. You could also do quick buy and sell, which if you actually click this, uh, you could see how this will work. So you could see the uh, payment method down here. Usually it depends like you could use Visa, MasterCard, there's going to be a fee, um, but you could also use third party like Mercury Yo, uh, or Merc uh, Mercury Yo, sorry. Um, you could use MoonPay, Banksta, Simplex, etc. Um, but there's also P2P, uh, which is bank transfer more options with a zero fee. Um, and you can see all of these here. Uh, for example, here's payment methods. Um, you could see the price, stuff like that. I personally have never utilized any of these fully transparent with you guys. Um, I utilize just me transferring funds over um, in the form of USDT. But again, you guys are more than welcome to do whatever you want here. Uh, they do also have a Mexi MasterCard. Um, but again, best, cho uh, best choice um, would probably be using um, a debit card or something like that. Now, again, full transparency, there's probably going to be funds tied to or uh, fees tied to this. But I think right now they might be doing a zero fee for new users. I might be wrong on that. Um, but I just have not made an account with Mexi in a very long time. But you can also do bank transfers, which, again, might be in everyone's best interest. It's totally on you on what you want to do. Um, but for example, they only offer 
bank transfers with euros and GBP. Um, this might just be because I'm not KYC. I might be wrong on this, but I know that a lot of people were telling me, hey, bank transfers are you know not for US-based customers. If you wanted to do USD, debit or credit card might be your best opportunity. Uh, there is a fee though. Like for example, if I wanted to deposit $10,000, so it actually looks like, uh, let me do... 1000 it might be limited so it's going to be a 20 dollar fee on a thousand dollars here um let me see if it will allow five thousand i don't know if it will or not i know debit and credit cards are a little bit rough so a hundred dollar fee on five thousands which is a d decent amount so it might just be best to purchase usdt somewhere else um and transfer utilizing like a polygon um network because for those out there that do want to cut down on fees you could do that through uh, Polygon as the network of choice um, or other ones as well because they do offer that. Now, let's actually take a look at trading. So if I was to trade or buy XRP, all I would do is go to trade up here and go to spot. I'm not going to be utilizing leveraged ETFs uh, or any of that in terms of like margin and stuff. I'm doing spot trading only. So... With this, all we do is type in XRP, and you could see this under USDT. Like for an example, here's all the pairs for this. They even have um, USDC as well, if that's what you want to do. I am utilizing USDT though. Uh, so here is our spot trading. Um, all we would do is drag this to the side. Now you could either do a limit order, which for those out there that don't know, a limit order is you purchasing at a set price. So if I wanted to purchase at 35 cents, I would put a limit order in at 35 cents and wait for that buy to be hit. Or if I just wanted to buy at market price, I would do a market price buy with the amount. Now here you don't see the amount of XRP that you are going to get because again, market prices do change when you do a market purchase so for the best interest out there if you want to purchase at a select amount your best opportunity would probably be a limit order now again for those out there that do want to do futures trading again i highly recommend against it because i do believe that futures trading is probably the worst way to go about things in crypto it is essentially you taking your money to a casino and gambling with it you're probably going to lose money. But for those that did want to learn how to do futures trading, it's basically the same thing. You click futures up here. You can go to any of these of your choosing. Mainly, if I was going to do futures trading, I would just be utilizing USDT as the collateral. So USDTM, um, you can actually see the perpetual futures over here. Um, and here is where you could do, you know, isolate it. 20x 50x like this is ridiculous uh to be honest with you guys like this is where you know um a lot of people are losing money because anything over a 10x so if i was going to do futures trading i hope uh, i always recommend not doing any amount that you are going to hurt if you lose it um but also i don't recommend going over 10x leverage because at that point you're basically guaranteeing that you're going to get liquidated but I would avoid this at all costs because, again, it is just not in your best interest. But for the sake of the video, I will show you guys how to leverage trade. Um, so I would put any amount here that I would want to trade with. 50% would be 50% of what I did have in my wallet. Again, I don't have anything here. But if I wanted to transfer, I could transfer from spot to futures and trade with it. Um, and then I would just open a long or sh uh, short at a select price, which I could put the select price here. Like for an example, I could short it from anywhere between like, we'll, uh, we'll just say if I went to the one day span. Okay, well, I see a little bit of resistance forming here at 40 cents. I'll short 40 cents, for an example. But again, highly recommend not <laughs> futures trading. I know that there's a, lar a large amount of influencers that push it. It's simply because they get paid a ton of money on it. Um, but... With that, um, spot trading is probably your best friend, and it's very easy on Mexi. Again, like I said, um, with this, you could put in a, a limit order, you could put in a market order. Um, there's also Casper. Like I said, Casper's on here. There's also Casper futures trading, um, but again, we're just going to be buying Casper. 
Casper's very, it's all the same, right? Uh, limit orders are the same. Uh, spot trading, stuff like that is all, all, all the same uh, uh, against all of these assets. Um, if you wanted to utilize USDC, instead of depositing USDT, you do USDC. But there's Q&T on here. Uh, there's HBAR. I think that there's, I don't think that there's XDC yet. Um, but a good asset as well is Tau. I know that Tau has been one that a lot of people have been focused on. There's even Suka and stuff like that that I personally have been buying. Um, but there's a ton of assets. There's even A0. A0's on here. Um, graphs on here. Pretty much all the assets that I talk about on this channel are on MEXC, which again is just like, it's very easy for me because they have almost every asset that I personally buy and I just buy it and instantly withdraw because there's no lockups. There's no lockups on MEXC. Um, but I always say, if you can buy on it, withdraw it immediately. Get it off of the exchange. Put it in cold storage. It is your best friend. Do not hold any assets on any of these exchanges. It is not safe. I always say, make sure to get your crypto off these exchanges as soon as possible. So with that in mind, I hope that that clears things up on how to buy XRP, Casper, etc. Um, in the US. Um, if you guys do have any troubles or anything like that, you guys are more than welcome to comment down below. I'll try my best to help you guys out. Uh, for those out there that do want to sign up, there's a link in the description below as well as in the comments below. But with all that in mind, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. Uh, so, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.